and welcome back to my channel. So today I fancy doing something a little bit different. I have not answered any questions at all on this channel yet. I feel like you guys barely even know me. But I wanted to do a little tag video just to answer a few questions so you guys can kind of get into my head a little bit and find out who I am. However, I was gonna do the get to know me tag but honestly the questions are just so like none of them make you get to know me. They're just strange questions. That being said, I thought I would do the 15 weird questions tag. I know that doesn't really make any sense, but I just thought it might be a little bit more interesting as a get to know me tag is literally like, do you like cats? Do you like dogs? Like no one really cares if you know what I mean. I literally just Googled YouTube tags and this one came up and I just thought it might be quite interesting, more interesting than whether I like cats or dogs. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump straight into the questions. I will put all the questions on screen and also down below if you want to do this tag as well. Question number one, what's a nickname only your family calls you? My family don't really call me any nicknames. I wouldn't say I have like an out of the ordinary nickname. Obviously my name's Emily, so it'll be like M and that's it. My uncle used to call me M Potts when I was younger and I suppose that is the extent of my nicknames really. That's all I had. What's a weird habit of yours? Um, I bite my nails, but I wouldn't say that that's very weird. I think it's quite common, but a weird habit that I do have. I guess that's quite strange. Um, if anybody saw me stand like that, they might be like, what is that girl doing? But yeah, that would be like the only weird habit I would say that I have. Do you have any weird phobias? Um, I hate the sound of ice. Is that weird? If I hear someone or see someone like bite an ice toy, even thinking about it now literally makes me want to throw up. <laughs> Especially if I hear it, if I hear that like crunch of someone biting ice or an ice toy or anything, it just makes me go so cold even when I think about it. I don't know what it is about it, but just hearing that sound like scrape, oh, it just literally goes right through me. When I open the freezer as well, I have to get something out really, really quick so I can just shut it and be done with it because it's just horrible. I suppose that would be a weird phobia. Other than the ordinary like scared of spiders, I'm definitely scared of spiders. Again, I think that's quite common. So yeah, my weird phobia would be the sound of freezers and scraping ice or biting ice lollies. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? So I don't necessarily blast this song out when I'm alone. I can't even remember the last time I listened to it, but it is just one of them songs where when it comes on, I'm like, yes, this is a great song. And that would have to be Jonas Brothers Burning Up. I just think it's such a tune. I just love it. So I guess that would be the answer for that question. Again, I don't play it on a regular basis, I don't secretly belt it out, I'll happily like belt out to that song in front of millions of people. <laughs> What's one of your biggest pet peeves? Mm, I don't really think this is a weird question, but I would say just impolite people. I just think manners are free, people can be so rude, and I just think life's too short to be rude to people. I just can't help but get annoyed when I witness someone being rude to someone else, because I think you've just ruined their day for no reason. Like, you'll be rude to that person, you'll go off and go about your day, but that person might be thinking about that situation for a long time and it will probably just ruin their day and just make them feel a bit crap about themselves. So yeah, my biggest pet peeve will have to be rude people. I just can't stand it. What's one of your nervous habits? One of my nervous habits would be biting my nails. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Mm. So if we're looking at the bed here, I sleep on the left-hand side. So if you're looking at the... How do I explain it? So if you're standing at the end of the bed looking at the bed frame, I sleep on the left hand side. But then to be fair, we went on holiday recently and I slept on the right. I don't go to anywhere and be like, that's my side of the bed, you know? I just sleep wherever. As long as it's a bed, I don't care. <laughs> what was your first stuffed animal and its name? Oh my god, I have no idea. That's so sad. I can't even begin to think like what it was. I know when I was younger, but I'm, I feel like this was when I was like six or something, so it wouldn't have even been my first animal. I know my brother had a bear the day he came out of hospital. My dad went and bought it for him like hours after he was born but I don't know if I had that but I remember when I was younger about six to eight I can't remember when this was but I had loads of the TY teddies I think they're now like a collector's item and if you have some of them with the labels on you honestly could be sitting on a mint like they're really expensive now so I had quite a few of them and I had a little leopard one and I was obsessed with it. I can't remember its name for the life of me, but I was literally obsessed with it and I'd take it anywhere. And we went to Tenerife one year and I think I left it in the hotel room or I like dropped it in the airport or something. And I just remember we took off on the plane and I realized that I didn't have it. 
and that we were literally like 20 meters above the ground and um, I just started bawling, like, I couldn't stop crying. I was so upset that I'd, like, left this teddy in another country. And obviously when you're younger, you think they're, like, alive. And I was like, oh my god, he's gonna miss me so much. Like, what's he gonna do without me? Where is he? Has some other kid got him? And I was so distraught. So yeah, answer to that question, I have no idea and I don't know what his name was. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? So my go-to order is, well actually no, I probably have three. If I'm feeling in the mood for a refreshing drink, I'll get a cool lime refresher, but obviously they're only sold in summer. More often than not, I will get a chocolate frappuccino with cream on top with no coffee. But at the moment I've been really loving just a bog standard iced latte. What's a beauty rule you preach? That would have to be, number one, using a beauty blender. I just think they are the best things to have happened to the makeup world. I can't imagine doing my makeup with a brush anymore or those people that do their foundation with their hands. How do you do that? I just can't, I don't understand it. Like, yeah, that's not me. No, that's not me. So yeah, beauty blenders, 100% use one of them and dampen it before you use it. They are the best things. And two would have to be to go around your eyebrows with concealer once you've filled them in because they just make them look really crisp and so much better. So they would be my two beauty, what is it? Beauty rules that I preach, I guess. Which way do you face in the shower? I don't know, turn around quite a lot in the shower. I don't really face one way for the whole time that I'm in there. Yeah, both ways. I guess when I'm washing my hair, I'll face with my back to the shower to get my hair wet. And then if I'm, sometimes I have those days, I don't know if anyone else has this and I'm just gonna sound like a complete weirdo, but sometimes I'll get in the shower and I'll literally just stand under the water, like facing the shower, just with the water covering my whole body and just stand there for a good like five minutes. I suppose it's just thinking time. <laughs> I feel like that's what I do. I just go in the shower, sit there with the water running over me and just, think about life <laughs> do you have any weird body skills um <laughs> okay my boyfriend's mom absolutely hates this she hates feet anyway but this will probably make her die i can't believe i will actually put this in the video but i can like do a thumbs up with my big toe <laughs> It's not really a skill, I wouldn't really class it as a skill, I'm not overly proud of it, but um, yeah, that would I'd say is like the only thing I can do. I kind of want to show you, but I kind of don't. I've never actually met anybody else that can do this. Not that you go up to someone, even your friends, and be like, oh, can you do this with your toe? But then actually Brad's little cousin, we found out can do it as well. It's one of them things where you can do it, but you can't explain how you do it. And then again, another thing is not a skill, but I can wiggle my ears back and forth. Again, it's one of those things where you just can't explain to anybody else how you actually do it really hope that actually shows up on camera otherwise i'm gonna look very strange what's your favorite comfort food that's bad but you love to eat it anyways um every single food in this world i love food it's not even comfort eating for me i just eat <laughs> i'd say a food that i love to eat that's bad for me would be if anyone loves lotus biscuits and you haven't tried the spread that they do go and try it it's literally life-changing but i'm pretty sure that's like full of sugar and i love to just grab a teaspoon grab a jar of that and eat eat that <laughs> i suppose that would be like one of the bad things or nutella out of the jar yeah they would be my two things so basically eating spreads out of a jar is like my comfort <laughs> what's a phrase or exclamation you always say okay brad always gets so annoyed at me for saying this but so he'll tell me something that i know like he'll state a fact whether it's something we're doing today or something that happened yesterday or the consequence of something and i'll be like yeah no i know so he'll say something like, we need to sort this today. And I'll be like, yeah, no, I know. And I don't know where it comes from. And he always picks me up on it. He always goes, what? Yeah, no, I know. Like, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, I don't know. It just comes out as like one word. And I think I've got it from my mum because I noticed that she says it as well. But it is, when you think about it, quite a weird thing to say. Or I'll be like, no, I know. And I'm, I can't be the only one that does that. But yeah, that's probably one of the weird things that I always say that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I'll always be like, yeah, no, I know. Okay, so that was all the weird questions on this tag. I don't think it was overly weird. Some of my answers were probably quite weird. But I hope you enjoyed this anyway. Do let me know if you want more tag videos like this. And I'll be more than happy to do so. Because it is actually quite fun to just answer random questions. And put it on the internet. Why not? If you do have any questions that you want to know the answer to. Please leave them down below. And I'll either make a video if I get enough questions. And if I don't, I'll just reply to your little comment. And answer your question for you. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for for watching as always do make sure to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of my face but i will see you very very soon in another video bye guys
Why is it, why is it so blue? What's a brute? you enjoyed this and then blah, 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 blah. this keeps going so blue and I have to do this to kind of like get the light back or not. For you, baby.